Hey, what's up, gamers? Hey, gamers. Hey, gamers. How are y'all doing on Man, this on this night? I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gamers. Gamers. Are there any gamers out there in the chat today? How y'all doing, gamers? How's all the gamers doing out there? I feel like this one's for you. <laughs> gamers. <laughs> gamers. I feel like we're having a competition <laughs> of how many times we can say gamers. I can say it more than you for sure. Yeah. If we count up all the times we've said gamers in our life, I definitely have you beat. Yeah, that is true. We've gotten a few subs. Mm -hmm. Coffee can. Yeah. Appropriately appropriate. enough. Mm -hmm. TI-80 calculator. Yep. Mayo Rails. Amazing. Said, I've been a sub for two whole months now. That's awesome. Hello Thank Turtle you. said, hey there, gamer. And Prince subscribed as well. Thank you all so much for the subs. Unbelievably, you skipped Rippy Call. Rippy! I was saving it so I could really give it the full the special treatment. The full treatment. Victor Belmont! Victor Belmont! Thank you for the sub. I was going to start reading it, but then I got to give that one to you every time. Yeah, it's the best. Victor Belmont, I'm so glad that you have that name, and I'm so glad that we were able to give you that name. <laughs> How's everybody doing on this Wednesday evening? We're going to coffee talk today we're gonna coffee talk some late night coffee beans drawfee beans we're gonna sit in the cafe and have some coffee talk lark lure thank you for the sub so very much thank um, you um julia is gonna be playing this one it's me it's she's, my pick she's the one she picked it pickle my the dinosaur pick. she picked it no matter what you say pickle the dinosaur thank you for the sub. julia picked it yeah. And uh, this is a game, it's kind of like Valhalla. Which I love. The bartending game. I loved Valhalla so but much. But this one's with coffee this time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know too much about it other than that. Uh, we watched a, a little bit of a let's play of it and it just seemed just real pleasant. It seemed like a nice time. We'll get yeah. to do some reading. Yep, we got to do some voice acting. I don't know if you've ever voice acted before, Jacob. No. You're probably going to want to switch to the gameplay camera before we start playing the game. But that's yeah. just my guess. That's something I do every single time. What's your name? Barista. Barista. Um. Batista. <laughs> We're playing as Dave Batista in we this one. We can't. Schmidog, thank you for extending your tier one subscription through March. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We're playing as Batista the Barista. Batista. <laughs> we have to play as Batista. Batista correct. <laughs> People are saying hot Joseph though. <laughs> I do. <laughs> do Should we do hot Joseph or Batista? I think it has to be hot Joseph, right? There's no yeah. there's no really no way around it. Like I'd feel bad if we did. I think Batista is very funny, but Hot Joseph is is legally the only option we can pick. Yeah, it's the most uh, appropriate name we've got. We got some news from Caradactyl Stowe. They said, hey folks, I normally don't like bragging, so I'm sorry if it comes off that way, but I just got a full tuition scholarship to law school. Damn! That yes! rules, that whips ass. That rules, congratulations. It's not bragging at all because you killed it. You earned it, you deserve it. And we're all very proud of you. Excellent work. Muffin Miri, thank you for the sub. Thank you, Muffin Miri. All right, let's get into this thing. Let's do it. Let's let's get in. Oh, I have to play Hot Joseph though, right? Can I be Hot Joseph? You want to be the main character? Let's look at our options. Can here. I be? Yeah. If you would like. Um, auto dialogue off. Skip dialogue. Read what? I guess just leave it as it is because I don't know what that means. Me neither. Clearly, Crystals has subscribed. Thank you so much for the subscription. Okay. I was looking for the subtitles uh, menu option. Julia, this game doesn't have voice acting. The whole game is a subtitle. <laughs> it's subtitles only, baby. Clearly, Crystals, thank you for the sub. I already said that. <laughs> Welcome, Hot Joseph. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Welcome, Hot Joseph. You're losing your gourd. I never had it. You never had your gourd. Terminally Inconvenient said, have you considered Cook, Serve, Delicious? I have. I might play it on a future stream. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. I saw 2020 and my brain was like, oh, this game takes place in the future. 
Just really. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. This is like a fantasy world too. Okay, so it doesn't just mean like no, <laughs> like human races. No, there's like okay, elves it's and not, stuff. not talking about race wars. No, 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 no. Okay, that makes more sense because I was getting a little worried. <laughs> a time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be, and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Nice, but still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Hell yeah. Oh, look See, at these. See, we got we got a yeah. bunch of like fantasy. We got all sorts races. of fantasy creatures. Woo! Just... Woohoo! <laughs> it is when the elves have lost the forest to build their startups. Oh boy. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them. As driven as ever. That was the cutest little meow behind us. Yeah, who's meowing over there? Who gave the cutest little meow? Who meow? meow. I want to like get one of the mics right in a cat's face and make them do a meow. I mean, joy meows all of honks. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Got some good art. Thank you, Dio Mahesa. And oh, I didn't catch the other person's name. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. Good job programming, Frederick and Joven. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. This art is just wonderful. It's really I good. I love the uh, shine down here. Yeah. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Coffee talk. Oh, signs lighting up, baby. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, the distant future. <laughs> Definitely not near future. Oh, what's up, cutie? Welcome. Oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, no, why are you choosing that voice? I'm Hot Joseph. Hey, Hot Joseph. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have even half my ingredients today. You sound like the uh, character in an anime that would have glasses. I'm Hot Joseph. Let me be. Violet26 Rose subscribed. Thank you. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. Trying your troubles in coffee. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry. Take your time. Soulless Pig subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Heh. <laughs> Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Did I just... I had to toot. Yeah, what was that? It sounded like <laughs> you unscrewed your toot hole and <laughs> that one slipped. Hold on. <laughs> beep, beep, Seattle beep, beep, beep. 2020. <laughs> Everyone has robotic toot holes now. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. That's that's the butt. That's, that's the, the butt. That's the fart. <laughs> that's the fart machine. <laughs> You want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. I'm a professional barista. So you have to make people drinks. She wants a triple shot. We can pull up our phone and we can see. Can we look at the other app? I want to see what Tomato Chill is. What's Tomato Chill? Oh, it's our friends. Freya. Here's Freya. She hot. A uh, writer for the Evening Whispers talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. Okay. What other friends do we got? We have Georgie. Georgie. Oh, we got Birthday. no info on Georgie. June 1st. And Gala. September 13th. 
He looks like the uh, the king dude in Final Fantasy 15. No, he looks like Sad Keanu. He looks like Sad Keanu mixed with the king dude. Yeah. Almighty Mie subscribed. Thank you Thank so you. much. Okay, so we have that. Oh, can we change this the tracks? Yep. Nice. Okay, oh, okay, we can read the news. All right, we start tomorrow. Your free trial will start tomorrow. Okay, so she wants a triple shot espresso. To make it, it's coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. So coffee, 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 coffee. and coffee. We brew that. Brew it, baby. Ooh, making that coffee. Serve, Serve it. it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I needed. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. TKO Musician said, Is this a Seattle barista game? I'm a barista in Seattle. It me. Oh, nice. This yes, is it a is a Seattle about you. barista. This game. is your game, TKO Musician. This is you. We are you. You are Hot Joseph. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning Fork subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also THE biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories, so he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Hell yeah, Freya, that sounds great. Get you a... Get you a novel. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Get a novel. Aim for the stars. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. I'm falling behind on newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. We've also got Heartfelt Requiem in chat who says, uh, I'm a newspaper reporter who would desperately prefer to be a novelist. It me. <laughs> nice. And Drunk Haas said, Discovered Draw you very recently and love it. Your talent is inspiring, especially for someone who's trying to learn to draw good. Any tips to not let my tablet drive me crazy two minutes into it? Cheers from Columbia. Keep at it is the only tip I got. It's unfortunately the only tip. Yeah. It just takes a long time, like longer than you would think. Yeah. You just have to like work on it every day, even though it's annoying, and eventually it will get like second nature lizard and crimson also subscribed thank you so much ouch well at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft that was last week again don't look at me like that how far along are you uh. <laughs> i assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero hey that's rude I've written some stuff, you know? May I see it? Um, well, it was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. Uh, yes. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. T-K-O, gifted five, two, and subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who are you? Oh, wait. Grayscale asked an important question. How do you get Photoshop to stop doing that stupid circle thing every time you rest your stylus? 
He had this issue. I've had the issue twice now. There is a way to turn it off. It's you have to go to pen and touch settings, but that is in your control panel. There's like a separate pen and touch setting. That's not like. Yeah, there's one that like, if you try to search for it, won't show up. Yeah. If you go to your control panel and look around, I think it's like in like your mouse or your pen and touch settings. It's there's something a, very roundabout. It's really stupid. Like the place it is is nonsense. Dr. Math Dad, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. Good luck finding it, though. It took us forever to find it. If you Google it, you can turn it off. It's, yeah. it's part of, like, Windows Inc., but it's not in Windows Inc. It's in pen and touch. It's very yeah. annoying. Rex Niminus, thank you for the subscription. I'm going to continue reading now. Thank you. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I read some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Who's it? Oh, what's up, girl? Welcome. Hi there. Hello. I don't know why I've chosen this place. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. Double Joe 7 subscribed. Thank you so much. I have to change his voice. Where do I go to? Uh, British. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. I'm not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? Ooh, that's what I'm drinking. It's perfect. It's Perfect for this weather. Ooh, you got yourself in an accent pickle, don't you? Ooh, that's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Right, okay. Look at the recipe book. Yep. What's got chocolate in? We gotta go to dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Well, maybe let's look at the recipes. Coffee, coffee, chocolate, coffee, Scroll. green tea. That's it. Dang. We only start off. I guess with dark five. chocolate is what we serve then, huh? Yeah, we only start off with five. Let's give her that triple chalk. Chalk, 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 chalk. Chalk, 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 chalk. Everybody. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. Zach every day subscribed. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend. Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business, having the coffee shop only open on at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. I'm rich as hell. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Hot Joseph here is damn rich, and that's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Hot Joseph can manage. Hot Joseph can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their s short stories. I love the fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? It should be. I don't even know what to write about. 
Please. Oh, here we go. Please be this next character. Oh, it's boyfriend. Oh my god, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. You suck, sir. All right, keep him awake with milk with some latte art. We can give him a cafe latte. Uh, let's, why, why not give him a cafe latte? This is sweet and savory. Yeah, we with want, a hint of bitterness. Well, we need bitter because we he needs coffee. Coffee's bitter. Green tea's not bitter. We could give him a cappuccino. I say we give him a, a, a cappuccino or a Let's a give coffee. him a cappuccino. How about Let's that? Let's give him a cappy. Cappuccini. We get, uh, so it's, uh, cappuccino is coffee, coffee, milk? Coffee, coffee, milk. All right. That's big on bitter. We love it. You love to see it. Latte, latte art. art. Don't you forget the latte art. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay. You gotta pour milk first. Okay, okay. I don't know how to do this. I'm not a barista. Oh. Now etch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is this latte art you're making? It's like a little <laughs> fish. <laughs> You need to pour more milk. Okay. Wait, no. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> I'm an artist, not an artist. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one right here. This is it. <laughs> okay, it's kind of like some tentacles. It's a pumpkin. Well, is it? <laughs> what is invert? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. Let's do let's do the drawy mug. That's definitely going to work. It's kind of like a face, <laughs> like a horrible face. They're saying you can also turn the cup. Yeah, that's really going to help me on this. Click the thing and, and do it. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's beautiful. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. I'm an artist. Serve it. I did it. That's what Hot Joseph would serve. Here's your order. <laughs> Is that what you call latte art? <laughs> That's cute. Perfect. Anyway, I was <laughs> distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. That's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's, plural. Oh, my. Where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. I'm Freya. Oh, Freya's on her phone. Yeah. Oh. You didn't realize that? No. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Hot Joseph. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep. He's a nice guy to work with. No, you're making him sound like an asshole, <laughs> he but seems I think perfectly he's probably fine. fine. <laughs> but look at his eyebrows. Yeah, I know. Oh, really? 
No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Ah, <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. Oh, that sounds really bad. Ah, uh, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Damn, Hot Joseph is so strong and powerful. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Wherever it is, I'm going to write. So I'll leave you two. In the hand of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Should we move to other seats, too? Nah, here's good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I just finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. I'm so glad this is the voice you picked. <laughs> It's it's teetering further and further into Tim Curry, <laughs> Frankenfurter, with every line. Yeah. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smiling so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fit all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter. <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Hot Joseph here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. You do have a phone notification on your phone. Yeah. Oh, oh. We got new info oh, on Freya. Lua. There's Lua. Damn, rocking the bikini shot. Got another language on there. We got Bailey's of the artsy shot, of course. Number one pumpkin spice fan. Mm-hmm. There was new info on Freya. Or maybe not. Okay. And then the other one is just, yeah. Okay. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. Oh, the race wars are alive and well, baby. That's what they said. Twitch the bay! Thank you, Twitch the bay. Thank you for the sub. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still. You don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf, 
that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. That's exactly what they said. Oh, it's cat time, baby. Let's go. Kitty cam. Oh my God, it's cat time. Kitty cam. Joy. It's joy time. I would put the mic up to her face, but she's standing on the mic stand. She is standing on the mic stand. Hi. Standing oh, on a mic stand. You don't have to play with that. Uh-uh. Hey, no, Joy. No, thank you. Hey, Joy. Joy, come here. Talking to this. Come here. Do you have something to say to the people, Joy? <laughs> she had nothing A woman to say. of few words. Joy, what do you have to say? Right. Nothing. nothing. Wow. She's all talk when she's far away. And she gets up close and, and she's she got gets nothing. The, she gets the stage fright going. Yeah. You don't have to sit with your butt on the mouse she's sitting with her butt on the mouse now well we're stuck here now thank you joy thank you joy welcome to the stream thank you for coming to the stream joy i'm just gonna play over your tail so this is it then the end of our relationship it doesn't have to be you know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? Not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I imagine Hot Joseph is just like standing behind the thing, going <laughs> <laughs> eating popcorn. <laughs> I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. I feel bad I've given him this accent now. <laughs> He's trying his best. He's trying his best. He's just enough doing his best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one. All right. So, green tea latte. Green tea, milk, and milk. Give him the old green tea, milk, milk. Brew it. Brew it! You know what I'm going to do? Some latte art? Yeah! Some green tea latte art? Okay. I have an idea for this. Are you ready? Yeah. A perfect heart. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're getting at here. Wait. Now it looks like a horse jumping over a thing. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. 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 I'm waiting. <laughs> Wait. I'm definitely waiting. Wait. I'm waiting. I feel like latte art's harder to do in this than it is in real life. You just need to find like a signature move you can do reliably and do that on all of them. Aww. Aww. Okay. It's a little crude, but <laughs> I think it gets I, to the we point. We can do it better. We can do it better.
That's pretty good. Now lasso it and move it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Now lasso it and move it down a little <laughs> okay, bit. Okay, wait. Oh no, it's a wiener. <laughs> okay, wait. That's, hey, that's pretty good right look there. At that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll take it. <laughs> Serve it up. Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. It has a lot of milk in it because I kept messing up your <laughs> drawing. By the way, are you married? Wow. Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. Fair enough. But I'm not sure that's... Let me try again. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. Do what <laughs> I do roll with I it. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. Your old man sucks, and he's a racist. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. You're not all asshole, Baileys. You're, you're good. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around, too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. <laughs> you were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Russian tea. Despite the name, it's a totally American drink. Coffee talk. Welcome to coffee talk. Toffee cock. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Oh, wow. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Nice. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Nice. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Nice. This is all bad. All the news is bad all, today. That was all bad. No good news today, guys. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. I was just so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive, temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be so rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes. Oh, the chat's right. It's fire instead of ice. Yeah. I wonder what it stands for, though. The eyes probably immigration. <laughs> yeah. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel version versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. 
Dev can't draw said fucking idiot racist enforcers <laughs> is what fire stands for. Yeah. That's probably what it is. Pro I mean, probably. Okay, you're banned. What? I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's coming tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Speak of the devil. Oh, it's our friend. It's George. Georgie. Georgie. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, hot Joseph, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here, hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Jordi. Anyway, a cup of sweet healthy coffee, please. Okay, so he just wants... Let's check his tomo Tomodachi. Oh. We got new info on Bailey's. Freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter, art school graduate, will draw and design for food and shelter. He's still trying to make it on his own. You then go back to his family. He's going to do it. I know he can do it. will draw and design for food and shelter. Nothing new on Lua. What's this little... Okay. Oh, I guess it's like... Okay, never mind. Never mind indeed. Um... Nothing. There was nothing new on his yet. Okay. So let's check brew pad. So we need a coffee with sweet. But no milk. I'm Please. thinking like maybe choco powder. Oh, maybe like a mocha? Yeah, like a coffee, so like coffee, a coffee, coffee, choco. Coffee. Oh, wait, wait, we can use the sweeteners now. Oh, honey? What's that? Or yeah, ginger. honey. Ginger's is not a sweetener. <laughs> honey, honey, uh, coffee, coffee, honey? Coffee, coffee, honey. What does this do? Or should we go coffee, honey, honey? Probably coffee, coffee, honey. Yeah. He said a little bit of sweet. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Coffee, coffee, honey. Honey coffee. Serve it. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Oh, wait. Wrong accent. <laughs> <laughs> coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? I still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. So, coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Soy it. it. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So, how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with the boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee... Thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Hot Joseph said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. 
But my novel is going to be published by our parent company, anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Put your hands up. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the moon, okay? It's just a fact. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not. But if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I don't want to say thanks. I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're gonna write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What'll it be about? The coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. <laughs> What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about the police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Hot Joseph is probably worried about losing customers due to a breach of privacy. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And I'll dramatize most of the things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume we've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you could give me another interesting tip. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become kind of a prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay, have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird, I don't know what her deal is, but she has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. Fast into my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why is this, why is this coffee shop? <laughs> why is this coffee why shop? Why is this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober them up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Mmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh, yeah. Go on and do your job, old man. 
And don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay, then. Something is updated. He's in the middle of talking to you. <laughs> a lactose intolerant cop. Mm. Gil Naiman. Gil Naiman or Maruki Harukami. <laughs> Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Yeah, it's mostly a visual novel for uh, every JB asking about the gameplay. Yeah. So it's primarily reading, but occasionally you make a coffee drink for someone. Yeah. But it's mostly just for, uh, you know, fun storytelling. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best, Hot Joseph. Hot Joseph is the best. You're welcome. Okay, off to work. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Off to the world of imagination I go. Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. Who is it? Whoa! Oh! We got Hot Squad! Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Hot Joseph. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Hmm, this is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shop you're used to in LA, but... Gala, it's fine. Uh, Who are you? sorry to interrupt. Feodoric subscribed. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. I'm guessing we don't have a recipe for that. Then, And I'll just give him coffee and ginger. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Coffee, coffee, ginger. A weird order. Yep. To be certain. Oh, it's got a name. Okay. Let's serve it. I want to Google that real quick, actually. See if that's a real thing. Hold. Hold. Might be an Indonesian drink. I'm looking for it. If it's got a name, the recipe gets saved in your brew pads, says Trash Monster. Yeah, I think it's a an Indonesian thing. That's cool. As far as I can tell. I'm gonna serve it. Yeah, serve it. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Soive it. Here's your order. You are the one solely in control of advancing the dialogue. Hmm, <laughs> good choice. Anyway, how's the town been treating you so far? Same old. No surprise seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I gathered, you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was... 
Sorry. A long time ago. Sorry. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're some we're old by some race standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. That was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met. This was the place. This was the place. Yeah, when it was a bar. We moved? Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? <laughs> Nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. They won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. It's a wild cat behind us. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about that newfound virus going viral, the hospital's been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come in here are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? I was just batting around a spring behind us. We got some good olive emotes going in the chat. She's so cute. Where'd she go? She, she chased it out. She went around the corner? Yeah. They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast gets their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. Excuse me for asking, by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to under uh, explain, but basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. <laughs> you know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yep, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. 
I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust him. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> what kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend of me. A friend told me about it. <laughs> a friend of me. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the fury. Exactly. So, continuing with your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger, and probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm texting. <laughs> I'm gaming. Sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So, I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. I'm Hot Joseph. Hot Joseph. Hot Joseph. Okay, so this got added. Originally oh, yeah. from where? Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. Check and the then... friend. Check Tomodachi. Yeah. We got Gala. Oh, that's Gala. It was Sad Keanu. Yeah, Gala's Sad Keanu. Hide. And hide. Supermodel. Wow. Let's Vegan vampire. absolutely go. Damn. All right. Hey. You done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys kind of remind me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a werewolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. That said wolf pup, by the way, not werewolf pup. Did Just I pointing that out. Pup? You did, yeah. All right. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You... I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night, but now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Then we just go to sleep standing at the, <laughs> just close our eyes and stand at the coffee desk until someone else comes. Yeah. That's right, coffee desk. Coffee desk. Is what that's called. Mm hmm This reminds me so much of Valhalla. Yeah, it's very similar. Probably inspired by, Yeah. I imagine. Bad news for today. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. That's oh boy. bleak. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orcish Workers Union demands. Hell yeah, Orcish Workers Union. You go for it. The Owu. 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 We got some good news here. Yeah, a little bit. Telling me to change up. Whoa! Oh, let's go. We got a hottie here. Okay. So let's go. They're all kind of in the same vein. Yeah, a little bit. Welcome. Yo, a cup of honey milk, please. Right away. I regret this voice already. You always pick the most harmful voice. 
She said honey milk? She said honey milk. She said honey milk? She said honey milk. Is that it? Is that the only thing that goes in? I Probably think... milk milk honey. You think it's milk milk honey? I would imagine so. is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Hot huh, Joseph. Seems like there's a cat. Oh. Oh my god, she got in with me. Yeah, she did. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh my God, it's a cat girl. Oh, she's hot. It's a cat girl. Hey, barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy, you look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I got so excited. It's been a while since I last saw a Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a hum I mean, than commuting as a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. All I can think of is the fun house milk, please. <laughs> Carl and Design subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank ye. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No milk. No, milk and nothing else. Milk, milk, milk. Brew it. Brew it. <laughs> Here's your milk. Here's your here's your triple milk. 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 Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Er, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, that's for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old, so I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Um, I don't... Oh my, are you? Just say it. This is something illegal. Or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly! Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob. I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. Good reading, Julia. Mm. Killing it. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Coffee, coffee, coffee. 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 Your espresso is ready. Mmm, as good as usual. Glad you liked it. Wait a minute. You do 
look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? <laughs> I mean, good enough. I don't know. The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her own solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a, a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. Milk. Drinking milk. Milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, well, we do have a lot of unusual customers. This is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. <laughs> Yay, Achievement Unlocked! We actually did get an achievement I, right there. Yeah, I got an achievement called Achievement Unlocked. No, seriously. Why are you here? <sighs> well, you know. The usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I could turn into a cat. You know, I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? Who are you? Barry Babombus. Barry Babombus. Thank you for the subscription. My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he knows a thing or two. Oh Who else We're is here? A spicy fourth! Ah! It's Georgie. Good evening, hot Joseph. I was so worried it was going to be the horned lady. The horned lady. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, hot Joseph. Yes, officer? I need something from a sore throat. Could you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? You got it. Green tea, lemon and honey. Green tea, lemon and honey. Was that not the green tea? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who are you? You better serve it up proper if you're gonna serve it up. Girl Hawk. Is that George? Is that George? Is that George Gifton subs? If it is, thank you, George. If it is, thank you, George. Sweet friend, best boy, George. George is wonderful. Everyone welcome George. I have to imagine it was George. I think it is George. It is him. It is George. We've done it. George. 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 <laughs> this is how we call for our cat. Yeah. Joy is what I'm realizing is happening right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. She's dead asleep. She's Fine. asleep. Okay. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn! This is great! How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Space Piggy 27 gifted five subs. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my ship today. Wagon full of pancakes. Wagon full of pancakes. Wagon full of pancakes. Thank you for the sub. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything's fine though. Why do you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Why has your friend Corey requested 350 from me? 
<laughs> I don't know. You request 350 for me constantly. For How does no he have reason. my Venmo? I literally have no idea. <laughs> I'm not responding to this request. Can't just out of the blue request 350 from me. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess. With you. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Spicy Jelly Beans subscribed and Mr. Gordon subscribed. Spicy Jelly Beans actually gifted five tier one subs, so thank you. That's like five subscribes. That is like five subscribes, you are right. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Later. We Space missed a sub Piggy from... Piggy, 27, gifted a tier one sub again. Thank stop, you. you stop. We missed a sub from Oma Lonar. We missed it. Who are you? Well, how do we, what do we do? Do we turn off the stream? What do we do? We missed it. We're gonna end the stream. In the stream. I'm ending in the, the stream. stream. I'm ending the stream. In the stream. I'm ending, I'm ending it. Get the cats, we're leaving. I'm ending it. We're leaving. I'm ending the stream. Get, yeah, go under the table. That's the only safe place to go when you missed it. You, we missed a sub. You got to go under there. Okay. I'm back. Oh, Malonar, sorry we missed your uh, sub. I'm back. I'm but sorry. we got it now. I'm sorry. Thank you. Do you want to scoop back up? Okay. Who the hell was that? Oops. You misclicked in a <laughs> just a horrible way. I did. Okay, we're good. She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read minds too now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. This is not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. This is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you ah. laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. It's a bad relationship. It sucks. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them, and they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tank was just one amongst countless others. He wasn't like this before, before it happened. You mean, before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Mm, nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. 
Unresolved problems are dangerous. Trust me, I would know. <laughs> I have a lot of unresolved problems, clearly. Clearly. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. What are you talking about, Georgie? Even your own blood. Georgie, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is good advice, dog. Georgie, you don't have to fight with someone in order to <laughs> debate with them or talk with think, them about something. I don't something. think conflict is the best way to know someone, Georgie. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments, but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. He should be a better negotiator. Wait a second. You said that this has happened a lot. But why'd you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. Oh my God, George, you I'm need not to a go very, to therapy. I'm not a very good father is what I'm trying to express here. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both got to resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. Uh, Georgie, you just said you ran away from you all your problems. Running away. In any relationship. I kind of understand what you're going through, though, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. <laughs> like adults, you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That'll allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh. That's... Quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Hot Joseph and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Hot Joseph. <laughs> Georgie... Georgie has not been uh, going through life appropriately. Fight everyone I'm all the time. You learn about them. It's fine. The I love fights. The only way to learn about people is to fight them every single day. You know when you're watching an MMA fight and it just ends with the two of them making out? It's they because learned. they know so much about each other. They learn so much. They know so much. And there they went. Yep. You can stay longer if you want. Oh, let's look at what's her faces thing. Oh, Georgie. Favorite things, please university, cop story, Robert Cop. Robert Cop, that's the video Tony made. <laughs> what I'm doing with my life, father of three beautiful girls. Who I fight with daily. Constantly. Rachel, oh there's her whole group. There's her whole cat group. Smile, something smiles. All right. You cool. had something new in your recipes too. Did I? You right. Oh, it's my cough it's syrup. It's your cough syrup. Nice. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. You juggling a lot of work, though. Or I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely Somebody's juggling a lot of work. I mean, everyone's juggling a lot of work all the time. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I could keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. The Legan Traven subscribed. 
The elegant raven? The <laughs> legant raven. The legant raven. The Legan Traven. Oh, I'm going to town in the Legan Traven. It can also be read that way and be just as correct. I think that's worth <laughs> saying. I think that's worth saying. I'm taking the Legan Traven. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was that phrase you said? Um, what was that fake... Netherlands quote that you had? Were you being um, early Whedon? Yeah. Early Whedon to you, taking the league and trade. The league and trade. While I'm doing it, Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly an employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, pressure. I'm sure about one thing though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door's always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. I'll black out right here where I stand. <laughs> like I do every night. Galahad. Ginger chai latte, good to calm. Look at that Kingdom Hearts ass heart on the top. I can't draw that shit. No, it's impossible. I barely drew a heart. Coffee talk. Werewolf activist imprisoned for owning illegal furry fury, fury. sedative. <laughs> I was distracted by this face. This very uh, Wario face. Yeah. That's a Wallum Duigi right there. The Orcish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro eco terrorism lyrics. Illegal furry sedative. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming after his shift. Hmm. Pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our, when obviously there's only you here. Oh, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm... Do you have any blood? Uh, uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. That sounds like a two tea and a ginger to me. Two tea and a ginger. Okay. Two green tea and a ginger. And Very bitter. It. High bitterness. High bitterness. That's what he said. He wants it bitter. You got to put your snaps away. Put your snaps away. Put those snaps away. You keep letting out your snaps. <laughs> Here's your ginger green tea. Let's see. Hmm. Not enough. Not warm or bitter enough. I'm sorry. It's as high as the chart goes on my get it. <laughs> my drink. It's not bad. Chart, but definitely not enough. I wonder if I was supposed to brew it like twice or something. You can't. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work. Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gabba Gabba, are you? Gabba Gabba. Hell no. I can never imagine myself doing something so, hmm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? Yes. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder? So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. 
I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good looking, living mannequins. How better to advertise anti aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of consequence and perspective. Nope, circumstance. Circumstance. Advertising is just a framing of truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. Good evening! Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You can say I'm a regular here. Hence the attitude. Hey, you look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states, either extreme excitement or super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling. That's a long time. Not for me. My current liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until the grandchild. It's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. I'm, but I'm stuck and I need a need of a warm drink. So brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Maybe something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet! Warm and sweet without coffee. Well? That's probably going to be like a tea. Oh my god. Why do you do this? You can give her or a, a dark, dark chocolate. A dark chocolate. That'd be warm and sweet without coffee. Put in the three chocolates. I want to see how warm it is on the warm staff. You put in three coffee. <laughs> no, it's not mm. warm at all. We need this to be warm. No, no. I think it's going to be a tea. Not, it's not going to be a chocolate. <laughs> Why would honey make it warmer? <laughs> okay. And sweet. Honey? Tea, honey, honey. Tea, 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 honey, honey. Or tea, tea, honey. Maybe tea, tea, honey. <laughs> I don't know why tea, tea, honey is making me laugh. That's more bitter than it is sweet. Maybe tea, tea, ginger, honey. Although ginger is not sweet. But it ups the warm. What about green tea? Green tea, honey. What about tea, milk, honey? <laughs> what about, what about snilk? <laughs> Wait, what about, okay, here we go. Tea, tea. Honey. That would add a little bit of sweet. It would add three sweet. How do we make it sweeter? Two honey? That's decently warm, right? The chocolate's got zero warm. We've been over this. 
I think tea, honey, honey is our best option. You can't mix tea and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. That's a London fog. You're not making a London fog. I think tea, honey, honey is our best bet here. Not green tea. Tea. That's sweet. That's warm and sweet. Someone said milk, milk, honey. That's not going to be warm. <laughs> it's two milks and a honey. <laughs> London Fog is an Earl Grey latte. There's not coffee in it. What the hell is a latte? Latte is the steamed milk. I always think that latte means that it has a shot of espresso in it. And we've been over this. We have been over this. Okay, tea, I think tea tea honey. I think tea tea honey. <laughs> I'm going full in on tea tea honey. Tea tea honey? A regular latte has espresso in it, but latte literally translates to milk. And a chai latte is chai and steamed milk and a London Fog is Earl Grey and steamed milk. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. She said no coffee as the one requirement. <laughs> if you don't do TT honey, I'm going to scream. Fine. Or tea honey honey. I don't care which one. TT honey or tea honey honey, either way. Honey tea, serve it. <laughs> A warm, sweet drink, ready. Nice. A perfect drink to A end perfect day. drink. <laughs> Glad you liked it. I'm hot, Joseph. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so you're a writer? Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers. But I'm also working on writing my own novel right now. It sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi? Hmm, I'm still not sure. It'll probably be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll set it in a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's a twist. It is about racial supremacy. I imagine even in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. No. No. There's not going to be problems in a world. Are you Never, kidding me? No. That's insane. No. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest difference will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what-ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Aw, thank you. Who's coming in? Oh, oh God. it's Lua. No, I have to be three characters. It's the triple now. threat. Hi, everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. I made a southern all of a sudden. Hi, Lua. How you doing? How's it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need to escape from my co workers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? Oh, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? Does he need glasses? What's going on there? <laughs> he's holding that phone way up. To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good Hot idea. Joseph would never say shall. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. 
Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing. Sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Isn't that what um, Bailey's ordered when he came? It is. Okay. That's so coffee. A, if you put coffee <laughs> in this cup, I will scream again. I think it's a green tea. Uh, is it two green teas in a milk or green tea milk milk? Green tea milk milk. Green tea milk milk. That's a green tea milk milk. Put those snaps away. <laughs> Latte art. Here we go. Here we go. Draw Mario. And your butt. That's a butt. <laughs> Don't serve that to her. Okay, I'm gonna draw Mario. Draw Mario on it. What does Mario look like? Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Wait. You have to do it at just the right speed. Okay. Okay. Get his eyes in there. All right. The hair. And just get that hat. His iconic hat. That's Luigi. That's Luigi. He's number one. It's perfect. Ship Serve it. it. Ship it. <laughs> Is that Mario? <laughs> Your green you tea. Mario in my cup? Your green tea latte is ready. Is this Mario or is it Luigi? He's a little droopy. Is this Mario or green Mario? Oh, it's Mario. Gooigi. I see. It's Gooigi. It's Gooigi. Because it's green and he's all droopy. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. I wonder why. Like, this drink feels really hot on me. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. <laughs> oh, good. We're getting some Kingdom Hearts territory now. <laughs> uh, that's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. H has he visited this place again? After our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. I should apologize for the commotion he caused. Please don't worry really about need, that. He needs to get some reading glasses. Yeah, I just want to fall like this. It's like, um, you ever see that clip of Ariana Grande on doing the uh, the singing roulette? And she every time she looks at the board, she squints really hard. No. Because she like needed glasses, but doesn't want to wear them. I have not seen that clip of Ariana That's Grande. That's what, I mean, she's making this exact face. It's pretty great. Who is this Bailey's person you keep- Oh fuck, I'm slipping. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Bailey's is... Or was, I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Is there a room to just ask her like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. I'm the owner of this place. It's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Mm. The usual racial problems then. Just show some manners, man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Bailey's and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close and usually they're supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they feel I'll be treated like a, like a peasant. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family, and they could be cagey at times. I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. It doesn't sound like most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last ten years. So, you've been together for ten years as a couple. 
and he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, in your relationship for the past ten years, that was without familial approval, right? Well, yes. But I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with you of the idea of marriage? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Try again. You can do it. Put the words in the order they appear in the text <laughs> box. That's the key. Uh, did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? Fuck, He's I not British. I, no, there's a lot to... <laughs> I'm reading three voices and two of them are accents. <laughs> no, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him? Yes. He wants to marry you. Fuck. He wants to marry you. Even if he has to leave his family? Yes. Problem solved, then. Why do you have to care so much about what his and your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple! I don't want to be held responsible. If he regrets his decision one day, abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua. Did you ever think about the risks when you started dating him? Yes. No. Maybe a little bit. But we didn't think it would get this far. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. What? Velociraptor Surprise is saying this is the plot of Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> and it is. I haven't seen that movie. You're pretty greedy for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Oh man, stop talking. Lua, may I ask? Do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. That would be selfish. H2 Faistus subscribed. Thank you so much. Because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are. Not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. You, and you choose which is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. But thank you for berating me, strange man. <laughs> thank you for berating me, strangers. <laughs> Take care on your way, Miss Lua. Thanks for coming here to get... <laughs> Just yelled at. ...chewed out by a vampire. I will. Bye. You were super harsh, old man. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well... I don't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting here for a friend. Another Julia character, please. Fuck. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh, thank God! Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. Ooh, kitty. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. I'm just stating Stated facts. facts. Whatever. Harshly. To someone that needed it. Not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Then you folks tell me what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with the ginger and caffeine? Yeah. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure, should I try mixing the ginger with tea? 
Yes. D, ginger. And I'm still not sure what the last one might be. Honey? Okay, I'll try experimenting with it. You'll know when you get it right. So we need tea, tea ginger. ginger. Let's try lemon or honey or or whatever, man. So tea, ginger, lemon. Could be that or honey or milk. Those are our three options. So tea, ginger. I don't think we had the stuff that was in the Galahad. I, I know that's the name, but I don't think we have the ingredients for that. What is the Galahad? It was in the loading screen. It had like other shit in it. We've not discovered that drink yet. I don't know what's in it. Was it milk? Okay, try milk so the chat will stop losing their mind. Should we brew it? Brew it. That's ginger milk tea, you fools. I mean, it's fine. We still need to try it. We don't know what the third ingredient is. We have to try all of them. I think it's funny. Thank you, Hot Joseph. Hmm, close, but I don't think this is it. What's missing? Next time, try switching the milk and the ginger. Will do. It's gotta be in that order. Chat is screaming that now. I love chat because they scream at me. Yeah. Constantly. They're like our cats. Yeah. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. So tell me what happened. She's a better storyteller than me. All right, so there's this girl. And that's about it. Hide, oh hide. You never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going... Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honesty is good and all, but... You know, try not being a dick. Listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. Ugh, not you too. I was a bit surprised, though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't know why I got involved in that discussion. I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. That looks actually a good magic. Judging from the reaction I received today, you may be right. But there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care on your way, Freya. Oh, look who it is. Another little screamer. Someone else coming to yell at us. Another screamer has arrived on the scene. You want to yell at us too? You want to pick her up? Yeah. Come here, Joy. Oh, come here. Come here, you little wiener. Drink. <sighs> Hello. She's looking at your headphone cable. Oh, you put out a little paw. Here you go, Joy. Speak to the chat. She just rubs her face on it. Hi, Joy. What's going on? Do you want to sit down? I'm sorry this cable is in your way. What's Let me going on? Move this. What's happening? Oh, you purring. <laughs> She's purring. Her wisdom is unsurpassed. Come she's, here. She's wise beyond her years. Come her limited here. years. Don't play with that. No. She just wants to play with all the cables. <laughs> you little monster. Cables are not your toys. 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry. This is a good way to do this, Julia. Sleep tight. You've not been able to nail down Hyde's voice. Nope. <laughs> See you guys. Oh. <laughs> you also haven't switched back to the gaming camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9.55. We're going to try to get to the end of this day. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you helping? <laughs> thank you, Joy, for the assist. Yeah, thank you, Joy. For the stream assist. Will you... um? Switch back to the gaming camera? You mean do do anything related to the stream? Yeah. I mean, Joy is part of the stream. She's laying down on my lap now. Yeah, she's laying down now. Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was bored. Oh, God, I keep forgetting what his voice is. He was like a proper boy. That's the surest way to come out, to make you come out. I'm tired. You skipped my line. I need a lot of I need a lot of liquids. <laughs> I thought the story from Freya was enough to fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something indeed. Hmm. You said something about being my friend for years. Yes. Why? Did you ever wonder what we'd be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? <laughs> Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Hot Joseph. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. <laughs> what was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. What do we have new here? Freya? Coffee, coffee, coffee. In case she's working as a journalist, but she's writing a book. Lua, lover of the bright moonlight, believer in a life without a fight. Working nine to five. In a trading company. Lost Angels Agency. Wow. Care for another drink to end the day? Eh, <laughs> sure. I was really hoping I'd get to make that one so that we could test it. The tea milk ginger. Tea milk ginger. So that's the end of that day. Yeah, I mean, I think it's time to call it. All right. Um, this game again is called Coffee Talk. I hope you enjoyed it. It's on PC. I know it's also on Switch. Yeah, I think it's for basically everything. So if you, you know, want to play it and you have a Switch. Yeah. You could. You could do it. You could do it. I've been digging it so far. I think it's very fun. Mm -hmm. oh, it's very cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us, everyone. Maybe we'll do a stream tomorrow, maybe Friday, but definitely Sunday. Definitely Sunday. So you'll see you around sometime this week. Are we going to raid? Are we going to raid? We can. All right, we can raid D20. I don't know how to do that. You do that. You got to type in the... I got to type backslash... What? Raid? We didn't run an ad again. Wait, we're going to run an ad. We're going to run an ad. Everybody, we're going to run an ad and then we're going to... Then we're going to raid. We keep this forgetting one? to run ads. This one? <laughs> yes. We're running an ad right now. A lot of you won't see the ad. But the ads support us, so thank you. But we're running the ad for a support... To support ourselves... Thank you, everybody, for watching the ad or for hanging out while we do the ad. Yeah, it supports us greatly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Everybody, please enjoy these these beautiful ads. And Joy here, she loves an ad. She loves ads. Lately, she's been very lappy. Ever since we trimmed her front claws. She's she's loved lap time. Yeah, she's been even needing, more needing to get on that lap all the time, every day. 
every damn day. Every damn day. The state of Arizona said, guys, I'm hanging out with my crush on Saturday. Give me ideas of stuff to do like we were thinking about going to a beach IDK. Okay, do that. Yeah, going to a beach is good. Going to a beach is good. That's great. Do that. Lots of things to do on a beach. Yeah. You want to go somewhere where you have lots of opportunities to talk. Yeah. And it's like a, a fun, chill environment. I am realizing the first time I think that we really hung out was a beach. A beach? Yeah. North Shore of Long Island. Oh. It's a shore. I don't know if I count that. All right. It's not like the beach. No, I guess not. It's a sh It's like a shore. It's a shore. I usually go to like coffee shops or like cool, interesting little stores where you could just sit and hang out. Like there was an ice cream place where I grew up that was super cool. You could just sit. And it was old. And I, I like it a lot. Um, just go hang out and be cool. Be yeah. so cool. Be you. Be the coolest version of yourself. Be you, because that's the person they're gonna, you know, see. Be you, but like if you had sunglasses on. Yeah. And a leather jacket. Mm hmm. And leather pants and leather boots and a leather shirt and a leather hat. We're not big on leather hats in uh, on Long Island. You gotta say it's a it's the leather hat capital of the world, Long Island. Yes. Everybody wears their leather their leather hat. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, mine's uh over there. Yeah, and it says Long Island on it. Mm hmm. We have twenty seconds of ad remaining. I'm just gonna put it back to us view. Yeah, sure. Why not? Do we have a cat behind us? Cat left. Cat left. Cat got tired of this. Yeah. Uh, the ads are almost done. I don't know how done they are. Ooh. Two seconds. Wow. Good job, ads. The ads have completed, and now... Thank you, everyone, for sitting through the ads. Now we're going to raid D20. So, Julia, now you can type slash raid space drop out live and hit the enter key. And it will prepare everyone for raiding. Ready yourselves for the raid. Prepare to join the prepare stream. Prepare yourself. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. See you next time. Yeah.